a in person early voting begins tomorrow in Maryland. WMAR 2 News Abby Isaacs visited the Baltimore votes early voting headquarters where volunteers were finishing final preparations. It's been a busy day here at the Adoptive Vote Center headquarters. Volunteers picking up the supplies, getting ready for those early voting centers to open tomorrow morning. It's been an inspiring election, I think. Baltimore Votes has seen it. The increase in interest, in participation this election. So they're getting prepared. We have been getting deliveries of water, of posters, of hand sanitizer. Getting supplies ready for volunteers to take to all the early voting centers in the city. There are 80 sites across the state that will open Monday morning for one week. We've had early voting in Maryland for a decade, but this year it's different. It typically just happens Monday to Friday, not on the weekend. This year it's happening on the weekend as well. Program director Tasman Swanson says early voting this year is especially important because of COVID-19. Because it helps reduce the number of people who are going to the polls on election day, spreads out the lines, spreads out the people, and hopefully spreads out the chance of uh, contracting COVID. Early voting will work just like election day. All you have to do is check in and vote. And if you haven't registered yet, no problem. Just bring a document that verifies your address. Governor Larry Hogan strongly encourages voting early and at off peak times to limit crowds and wait times. But Swanson says people should expect longer lines on Monday, Friday and Sunday. Bring water, bring snacks. Um, if you're bringing family members or like kids along, bring something for them to do um, and just go with a positive spirit. And if you forget something, Baltimore Votes is making sure each site has lots of supplies and volunteers to keep the lines of people entertained. I made a playlist, we're going to have my speaker and really just encouraging people to stay in line and vote. This is um, a really taxing time. People are going to be in line with their children on Zoom and class, and so we just want to do whatever we can. Volunteer Alexandria Leonard says she's excited to see the turnout of people ready to make their voices heard. Shining a light in such a dark time between COVID-19 and racial injustice, there's so much going on, and so to see folks excited to participate, it makes me happy. We have information on how to register to vote or register to volunteer on our website, WMAR2news.com. In Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News.